Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 3. It is a beautiful morning here in Los Perdidos. As always. As always. Kill and, the living. And, <laughs> <laughs> and as long as you ignore the thousands of corpses, mobile corpses, wandering around. Mm hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Um, today we're finally going to go meet up with our friends again. We haven't seen them in a while. Uh, Rhonda and Dick and Diego kind of ditched us when we got bitten by a zombie. Oh yeah, those guys. <laughs> and swordfish. Fuck the police. Um, oh, whoa! <laughs> but yeah, our, uh, our friends ditched us uh, and told us to, you know, meet up with them when we could. And that's, that's what we're going to go do. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're at the old... Uh... The old shop? No, they are actually in uh, in South Almuda at some import export warehouse. Oh, okay. Because of a, a plane. Oh, you're getting a car to get there. Oh, right, the plane. Yeah, yeah the plane. and you're saying you're gonna do smart glass shit today, right? Uh, no, no, we did that last time. Oh. There. <laughs> you appear to have forgotten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It's it... been a couple weeks since we recorded. Yeah. No, I was just re-watching that video. I don't know if you want me to talk about it, but someone in your YouTube was like... Obama and talking about gun control. <laughs> yeah, so... I like that. That was funny. I also noticed that that person, uh... They say they live in Vancouver, so they're not even American. Oh. So I don't know why they're talking about Obama gun control. Yeah. But then again, why are we? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, I live in America, so... That's true. It's a real good viewer, huh? <laughs> Yeah. No. It's like, you won't believe what Obama's doing. <laughs> it's like, make clickbait. Well, according to the Toronto Star. Oh. Sorry, Sun. Yeah, that's the one. No, eh. didn't they? Oh, no, just the news network shut down, right? Yeah, the Sun oh, TV news. That made me so proud to be Canadian. <laughs> the media's still somehow hanging on. Yeah. going to completely date this uh, recording session, but go check out the Cyanide and Happiness, because the comic is, hey guys, you'll never believe the news, newspapers still exist. <laughs> it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, completely nonsensical talk, but here we are in South Almuda, uh, and this building right in front of us, this big white building, is the warehouse. The old traffic wizard. Yep. Traffic wizardry. And yeah, this is kind of cool. There's like the beat up car that they took and a whole bunch of corpses around. Sweet. Just the first nice time. Little touch. Yeah, just the first time you show up, but it is kind of cool. What's that? Nick? Honey? Oh my god, you're alive. You found Zombrex. I'm gonna be okay. Don't worry. Thank God, honey. Because we need your help. Let her down. She needs me. Let the guys down. Freaking AWOL! Yeah. And you know what they do to traitors, man? No, man. What? Mm. Oh, man! Shut up. He's an old friend of mine. We used to be in a bunch of foster homes together. That is weird. You guys almost have the same tattoo. Uh, yeah. Don't know what it means. We've had it ever since we can remember. It needs a little work. It might need some parts. I'll start looking her over. Where the hell are we gonna find the fuel? Well, actually... You got a lead? Maybe. Uh, I met this guy. He's looking for Annie, I think. He said he'd give me some fuel if I can lead her to him. Ha! <laughs> What's not to love about that? It's a win-win. Besides, a little so-and-so deserves what she's got coming. Yeah, but... Listen. Got a bunch of hangouts all over town. There's a big one in Sunset Hills, I heard. Look for this graffiti. You'll know you're in their hood. It's a sign to each other that it's a safe zone. Just keep looking. That's how you're gonna find her. Just seems kind of like a shitty thing to do. I know she's real cute and everything, but I think all of us making out alive trumps you getting laid. I'll go find her. Who doesn't remember where to get a, where they got a neck tattoo? 
<laughs> well, apparently they got it when they were kids, which is weird, but I guess it explains why they don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. Given your baby's tattoos is the newest trend. Is it? It's yeah. the, new, the new thing coming out of Hollywood? Yeah, it hasn't reached Canada yet, but... Yeah. Oh, it will. In like ten Baby years. Baby tattoo. <laughs> God. Do they like shoot you or something? Man, oh, I'm such an ass. Nobody's gonna care, man. You're okay, buddy. Uh... She might still be alive, you know? The president? I can't stop thinking about it. Wait, is she president? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, way back when, when we were watching the TV news report, they said something about the president being missing in Los Perdidos. This is truly the apocalypse. Oh, God. <laughs> None of that. It's been a while since we've actually had a chance to sort of talk to people, just uh, hanging around. Yeah. Might be more like my type. Horne. Hmm. Horne. Good old dick. <laughs> yeah. What a dick. Now, the, this hangar has a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, a bunch of stuff we could make into weapons. And we got this. Thinking outside the box. Yeah. Nah. Hey, stranded RV on the Los Perditos Bridge. But I see a guy alive in there. Check it out. And yeah, just a bunch of other stuff hanging around. Uh, some combo, some clothes we're gonna grab. Dynamite. Yes, dynamite. So this is just a. Uh, uh. Oh, they get attracted to it, maybe? That's exactly what it is. You throw it, they get attracted to it, and it explodes. You can also punch people with it, but that's not very exciting. It doesn't effective. seem effective, yeah. No. <laughs> nope, you throw it, they show up, and, uh... Kablamo. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, this one's good, and it has a, a long enough fuse that a whole bunch of zombies actually show up. It's nice. Pretty good. The heavy attack, you can actually punch it into their face. <laughs> and it works the exact same way, just centered on a zombie. It's just hilarious. It is kind of funny. Wow, you have a ton of health. <laughs> yeah, this is the fully upgraded character. Uh, my main you... save. I think I was just demonstrating you can throw them without aiming. but. Uh, no scope. No scopes, exactly. Oh yeah. You, you like that? <laughs> yeah. That's... The shorts allow a full range of movement. <laughs> can you find a tennis racket as a weapon? So that would make uh, that ensemble. It's pretty bitchin'. I know you can, I know you could in the other, in Dead Rising 2. I don't know about Dead Rising 3. That's it doesn't come to mind. That's a very good question. It is a very good question. I should find that out in some future video. I'd play the hell out of a tennis good zombie job. killer. <laughs> well, like, I know, uh... In previous games, and in some in this game, you can get, like, baseball bat. Well, baseball bats are obvious, but uh, golf clubs and hit golf cl balls at people. Uh, the nice. footballs, basketballs. Dead Rising 2, I think, had a hockey stick. And you could fire pucks at people. You can do this, man. Killer, it's a date. Make her think you're not an asshole. Yeah, and, uh, and that's the plan. We're going to go ask a girl we barely know on a date in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Seems like a normal thing to do. Yep. But we happen to be wearing like a completely ripped and bloody mechanics coveralls. We can't we can't go dress like that. No. No. Yeah. Heaven nice. forbid. No. I mean we're trying to impress her. So we're gonna have to find some nicer clothes on our way. Mm-hmm. And this is just uh, one of the stashes we got from Jamie in the the Smart Glass episode. This yeah, one I doesn't. The one had the bear. Yes, uh, nothing that exciting in this one. Uh, there's a box of chocolate bars, which could be useful, and a box of grenades. So those are like never ending, basically. Don't mix them up. Just yeah, a lot. <laughs> Don't mix them up. Yeah. Um, there's also a couple couple combo weapons in there, but I'm gonna <laughs> leave them for now. Um, so I was watching, have you guys watched The, the Last Man on Earth? Yes. <laughs> I have I not you yet. Have, kidding. Oh, you should. It's actually really good. It's yeah. so good. That's what makes me think 
like asking that girl on a date. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a little bit of a driving mishap there. We'll try it again. Uh, you this can't just uh, hit X to flip it? No, you can't flip vehicles. So they will just sort of take damage until they explode when they're upside down. No one's strong enough to flip that thing. Exactly. Master Chief is. He might be. He can flip an elephant. <laughs> I still like saving people when I get the chance. Especially when you're on that bike, because it's just super easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> A couple bursts of fire and that's it. Are you going to the RV? No, no. Um, in a couple videos, we'll do the side missions. Right now, we're heading over to Central City, because it has the nice little shopping district where we can hopefully find some clothes. Fancy at. Yeah. It's actually very close to where we are, just right there in front of us. One of the things in The Last Man on Earth that I really like is that every time he wants to go into a store, he just casually shoots the window out. <laughs> like, just like, as if it's no thing at all. Oh yeah? It's, it's actually really funny. You should yeah, watch yeah. This. I will watch Will Forte. It. I just and that weird everywhere, is a, everywhere is a parking space. You're a parking space. See, now you're getting it. <laughs> All right. Oh. Tuxedo? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's anyway, so fancy sure. traffic wizard. It's pretty James Bond. I might have to pull it out at some other point, but I think it's too much to go asking asking a girl on a date. Never. I think so. Dress up as a firefighter. That'll impress her. <laughs> Girls like guys with jobs. <laughs> um, so the leisure oh, suit, no. I, I like this. And the is thing it is, from the seventies. I'm pretty sure it's a, a reference for Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah. Those old yeah. ass games, because like that's exactly what he wears. Yeah, I could see that. But it's, well, actually, we're apparently going to ask her on a date to go to a strip club, so it might be fitting. Yeah. To look a little yeah. bit like a creepy look dude. Pretty dated. Yeah. All right. Well. That zombie's well, wearing what you're wearing. And now you've already got it all messy. Yeah, white uh, white's not a good color for this. Yeah. You should wear your red shirt. And if there's <laughs> a lot of zombies, wear your brown pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty close. Um, we got a couple other options we're gonna try on before we before we head out. There's another, uh, oh, right here, actually. We're just gonna distract the zombies while we head inside. Okay, so, plaid slacks. Oh, if I can just... Plaid <laughs> slacks. <hangers. laughs> they get in the way. And turtleneck. Ooh, so, I mean, is it a tactical turtleneck? No, it's not. I think you made the joke the first time we saw this. <laughs> so good, good times. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a, a bad British secret agent. Well, I was gonna say like a sixty-year-old guy, which I don't yeah. think, I don't think she'll be interested in. So the last thing we got is just like plain, plain pants and the, the cardigan. All right, Mr. Rogers. Uh, it it is extremely Mr. Rogers looking. But I think it's I think it's like good looking, but not not it's too casual much. enough, you know. Yeah, exactly. So this is what we're going with. Uh oh. Yeah. This is it. Uh oh. The brown pants is if you shit yourself. <laughs> Thank you. I I had gotten that actually. I don't think these pants are brown. Unfortunately, I think they're black. Yeah. What's in that duffel bag? Um, I don't know. Miscellaneous items. You know. I'd be curious. Well, I don't think you can open them up. 
Can um, you make combo weapons with the water bags? Water bags? Or the water gun there? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I believe it shows up as a combo item at some point. Uh, just going back to the thing with duffel bags, uh, like crates and cardboard boxes you can throw, and when they get destroyed, they might have an item inside. But I don't think duffel bags do that. Okay. So. So we got one other thing here to show off by the hospital uh, a new combo vehicle. Uh oh. Ambulance and a bulldozer. Yep, the shock dozer. Nice. Right on. It's a, uh, it's pretty oh. mean looking. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Is it as good as it looks? Um, it's all right. It shoots electricity. <laughs> because why not? Uh, and it also has like a hydraulic battering ram. I mean, that's a typical ambulance. It's got a deep red. Exactly. So it it's kind of fun to use because you can do things like that. <laughs> You can also charge up the electricity if you hold down the uh, the heavy attack button. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that's really effective. The only thing, the only problem I have with this vehicle is that it's slow. Yeah, your uh, kill dozer, or whatever the fuck it's called, would go much faster. Yeah, I don't know which one you're referring to. Pretty much all the vehicles could be referred to as kill dozers. The uh, the bike. Uh, yeah, yeah the, this one. The roller hog. There yeah, you go. Yeah, the roller hog's my favorite because it's fast and very effective. But yeah, that as that... long as you don't flip it. Yep, that's a good point. This one's pretty hard to flip. I think you can do it. Uh, I mean, maybe I should have left this person alone because it's a little out of our way. But I don't know. I just feel bad about it. This girl definitely won't say no to a date with you showing up in this thing. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Thanks for saving me. No, no, no. It's cool. All right. Nope. She bails on us. I, I don't believe so. But she bails on us. She doesn't want to hang out. Me. Next yeah. time. Yeah, this thing is like agonizingly slow. Yeah. yeah, like it is. It is fun to use, but when you're trying to actually get somewhere, it just you really would rather be on something with speed. It's kind of annoying, but shooting vehicles around doesn't really get old. That dude's trying to get in. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately he's inside and a whole bunch of zombies are inside. We're gonna bail on the shock dozer. Yay! It was fun while it lasted, but... That was easy. And he was not very appreciative. Anyway, uh, the place we're looking for is just down the street here, so I don't think we're even gonna bother with another vehicle. He's probably faster than that thing. Walking might, like running might actually be faster than the shock dozer, yeah. But probably sprinting only, and you can't sprint for an infinite amount of time, so... You know. This looks like the right place. God, I hope so. Okay, so here we are, a communications uh, complex with a big radio tower. Is sort of uh, the Illegal's main hideout. Who the hell are you, and what the hell do you want? Listen, I'm looking for a girl called Annie. Is she around? How do you know Annie? Can you do me a couple favors? Like, what kind of favors? Look, we had to abandon our other safe areas in a hurry. I left some important stuff behind. I had my wedding ring. I left it at that half-built house. We were being chased. It's in a box. Okay, I'll get your stuff, but then you're gonna let me see it. Yeah, that's the deal. Tattoo kit from the school, ring box from the house. Look for the graffiti. Okay, lady, you got a deal. Yeah, so uh, video game rules apply. We can't 
get in this place until we do a fetch quest. Typical. Class, this is not good. Trying on some more clothes while while they're around. So there's some firefighter boots. Pretty yeah, the fire the firefighter boots would actually be really effective in this kind of situation. I think. Mm -hmm. Be very tough. Mm -hmm. And a weapon blue. Steel toe with all the electricity you have. Yeah. Probably good. Uh, zombie raker, a rake and a katana. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty much a rake with katana for. Uh, prongs or whatever the hell those are called so interestingly it's a like a stabbing weapon he thrusts with yeah his. i would have thought you'd sweep it around well so that's the heavy attack as he does sweep with it which is very effective did i just break into several mm -hmm. it looked like it broke into like several different katanas but i think it was just a katana falling Oh, yeah, maybe. And throwing it is also very effective. Is that a super combo? No. No, just regular. No, I would never use it. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's not terrible. There's lots of stuff I generally pick over it, but if I happen to find the stuff I needed to make it, I'd use it. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, Sunset Hills, this uh, I guess quadrant of the city, has three safe zones, and all of them are inaccessible until this mission. And in this mission, we unlock all three. Huh. Yeah. And zombies around Mel. We have a friend named Mel. I just I couldn't live with myself without saving. Oh her. yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'd do the same for you, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. If, if there's someone named Swordfish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the safe zones we get in this mission are also kind of unique. Uh, this safe zone is the only one guarded by humans. And it's the bikers. Classic bikers. Yeah, they're doing their same normal shtick of being super annoying. I'm surprised, like, they only have this for, like, the gang members, because usually, like, I don't know, when you think of, like, GTA Los Santos, it's, like, they have, like, Hispanic and, like, different ethnic gangs. Hmm. I yeah, guess I mean, bikers are kind of skinheads, but sometimes, but not always. Right. I, like, I don't think it was meant to be, like, an official faction, exactly, if that makes any sense. They <laughs> Dude, just... it's in his head. <laughs> yeah. They're tough. Yeah, these guys are actually really tough. There we go. It's also not very many bikers. It was only, what, five? Five total guarding this place? Lockers. Oh, that's where you can get items. Yeah, exactly. So that's a ring box. Uh, was it ring box and a tattoo kit? So one down. Nice. Despite the fact that these safe zones are kind of different, and you unlock them in a main story mission, they still have all the no the normal stuff. So like a coffee, a ma coffee, uh, a magazine, and a ZDC app update. All the usual stuff you normally find in safe zones. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking a coffee right now as we speak. Are you? Yes. Man. I could actually go for go for some just, Tim Hortons. I just finished my pot of coffee. Shut up. <laughs> Tim Hortons. I miss that so much. Do you? Maybe I'll have my parents bring this one. Nice. Canadiana. One of the things you learn playing this game is the sort of the tricks you have to have to try and drive around the city. 
there's lots of lots of streets that are all blocked off and you really need to know like where driveways like that are and alleys that go through you could say that you're a crazy taxi <laughs> yeah I like it yeah let's just make that the title of the video uh, I might I might <laughs> we'll see but the the second place we're going is the high school and this one is also slightly unique. Uh, it's entirely guarded by football zombies. <laughs> oh, so that's this, pretty sweet. Yeah, this is where we have to fight the bullies to uh, to do something, I don't know. You're pretty good at it. Wow. Oh my yeah. goodness. Their tackle attack is actually really impressive. How come the first guy? Headshot? Or? Yeah. Yeah. There's also an ach there's an achievement for killing a football zombie with a tackle. So that's sort of what I was trying to do. Yeah. But. Hey, a periodic table. Yeah. How many elements are there? All the usual ones, I think. There's, there's also a sombrero. Yep. There you go. Olé. <laughs> oh. No, no. I think it might have been a Spanish classroom as well as a science classroom, you know? Budget cuts. Yeah. They had to spend all the money on football uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> For their, like, couple thousand football players. Yeah. yeah. Nothing says American education like football. It's true. It is true. All right, there's a, there's a couple cool things in the lockers here as well. Uh, the one behind us has a guitar in it. I'm not going to pick it up, but... Uh, Schoolgirl shoes and socks. No good. You can't tell, but you know some people like wearing that kind of thing under their clothes. So, you know. Yeah. Who? What kind of person, Frenzy? I don't know what kind of person. But just you know, you do you. That's what everybody should go by. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Uh, Cletus and I had a locker in high school. And we used to have cases of Coca-Cola, and I tried to make wine in it once. Classic. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I'm glad well, no one tried to drink that wine concoction. It was basically just grapes in a bag. That's disgusting. <laughs> For a whole year. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, the flaming sword. Uh, just does sword stuff, but lights them on fire. It's pretty good. Nothing yeah. special, but... Still pretty cool. Yep. The combo attack's pretty good. It's the normal sword one, but I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep. So, right before we go downstairs, check out this locker. The go-go boots. <gasps> that... I don't know who what's up with that you're, student, but... You're not putting them on? No, I'm not putting them on. Remember, we're wearing the, the schoolgirl socks. So the flaming sword is actually really good at taking on the uh, the football zombies. That one died by fire, but the the heavy attack is enough that it generally staggers them, as well as doing a whole ton of damage. So it's quite good. Nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, doesn't this remind you of high school? <laughs> Big time. Throwing flaming swords around. At the jocks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Those too. Yeah, there's kind of a, a hangout down here. And the tattoo kit. It's where the teachers go to smoke weed. <laughs> mm -hmm. I suppose that's possible. They probably don't have explosives and guns, though. But, again, no, it is America. America. It, yeah. it is America, yeah. There we go. We should probably stop making those jokes at some point. Are we going <laughs> to alienate your biggest demographic? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Americans are fat and stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, you can also find the schoolgirl skirt down here. It's, I'm just kidding. Most are nice. Yes. Now you look ready for a date. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, sorry. I got distracted. There you yeah. go. Yeah, no, we're not. I don't, we don't need, we don't want Annie to know our true self just yet. Oh, the toilet. What about There's it? There's ammo in it. 
There, there's not ammo in it, actually. Surprisingly. Uh, toilets are save points in Dead Rising. Oh. So if we were playing Nightmare Mode where you need to manually save, uh, we would have to find a toilet to do that. So you save if you're going to quit, yep. but you don't revert. If you die, you just lose. Uh, In Nightmare Mode? Yeah. No, yeah, you'd have to revert to your last save, even if it was like hours ago. Oh, okay. It's pretty, yeah. That's the way the I Dead thought, Rising games always worked. Yeah, I thought Nightmare would be like your entire thing is deleted. Oh, no. That's not like hardcore mode or anything. Anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Next time, we will get to the whole asking a girl on a date thing. No. Oh, yeah. That's going to be your hardest challenge yet. It is. It is. It's It's difficult. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you guys later.